Welcome to the Vivian Beginners Demo Number 1. If you've installed the software but don't know what to do next, you've come to the right place. In the next few minutes, you'll learn the basic features of the working area, how to switch between the different drawing views, and how to create and customize a venue. This is the window that appears when you start Vivian. The first thing we're going to do is to find the venue for your event. Vivian lets you choose from a number of standard venues that you can customize to suit your needs, or if you're a Vivian Pro, you can also draw your venue completely from scratch. In this demo, I'm going to click Room. When I do so, the main working window appears along with this smaller window for entering the size of your actual venue. If you don't know the exact size now, don't worry. You can always change it later. That's one of the great things about Vivian. You can change anything about your event at any time. With Vivian, it's a snap to make last minute changes. I'd like my room measured in imperial units, so I'll leave that checked. I'll type a width of 64 feet, a depth of 88 feet, and a height of 20 feet, and then I'll click OK. And here's my room viewed from the top. Oh, but I know what you're thinking. Wait a second. That just looks like a big rectangle. I thought Vivian was supposed to be a 3D program. Well, it is, but to see the 3D image, you have to be in the right view. Vivian lets you see your drawing in all kinds of ways and from any angle, based on the tab you click at the bottom of the window. You can work in a wireframe view, which shows you an outline of your drawing on a grid like this. The grid makes it easy to see how objects like tables and chairs line up. Most wireframe views are two-dimensional, but you can use these buttons to change the view at any time. The view from the top is called Plan View, but you can also look at your room from either of its sides, the front, or the back. Click the 3D view to see the floor and walls of your room. But to see the most realistic 3D image of all, click the Virtual View. This tab simulates how the event will look in real life. Click your left mouse button and drag the image around to see every angle of the room. As you add objects to your drawing, you'll see them in 3D in this view. But since we haven't added anything to our room yet, it's kind of hard to see how realistic this image is. Let's go back and jazz up the room a bit. To add and customize any objects, you have to use one of the drawing tabs, either wireframe or quad. I'll click the drawing wireframe tab. The first thing I'm going to do is apply texture to the floor and walls of my room. I'll select the room by clicking on one of its lines. I'll right-click and select Properties, and then I'll click the Appearance tab. This tab lets you apply color, texture, and material to almost every object in Vivian. In the left pane, you can select individual room parts and then customize them using the buttons on the right. First, I'll apply a texture to the floor. You can use your own texture that you have saved as a graphic file, or you can use Vivian's Texture Pack, which is what I'm going to do now. I'll click Floor, and then Use Texture from Library. You can choose from all kinds of textures in Vivian's library. For example, I could make the entire floor look like this. Life is just a bowl of cherries. <coughs> but what if the guests are allergic to cherries? Hmm. Uh, maybe something a bit patriotic. Oh, Canada. Oh, but then people would be walking all over the flag. All right, since we're on the red theme, nice red carpeting it is. I'll click red, red 063. It's a really catchy name. And here's my carpeting. Note that you can only see the preview and apply textures if you've downloaded and installed Vivian's texture pack separately. You can get the texture pack from our website in the same location where you downloaded the Vivian software. Next, I'll apply a custom color to the walls so they're not all boring gray. I'll press Control and click to multi-select all the walls. And then I'll click Use Custom Color. This time, I think I'll pick something a bit more subtle so it doesn't clash with the floor, like a nice beige color. I'll click Define Custom Colors, and then I'll use the color picker to find the right color I'm looking for. 
Once I've found it, I'll click Add to Custom Colors so I can use it again if I need to. Then I'll click OK in both windows. Let's click the virtual view to see our room now. Ooh, ah, the room is looking pretty swanky, but a little empty, no? In the next demo, I'll show you how to add tables and chairs using Vivian's Seating Wizard. For now, I'd better save the file so I don't lose all my work. I'll click File, Save, and I'll call it, um, hmm, what to call it? I know, My Fantastic Event. Join me in the next demo to see how fantastic it will become. Thanks for watching.